Hello everybody and welcome to another episode on the RAC server. Uh, not that much has changed, not that much. Uh, we, I continued to uh, do this, I, oh snap. See before mobs weren't spawning there. <laughs> Zombie. Uh, these are actually the first mob spawns that I got. And I don't think they spawn on the track either. Alright, so let's take this guy out. Or we can leave him there. He's not that hostile anymore. Um, yeah, so nothing has really changed here. Oh, I've set up a cave spider spawner. It's not working that well, though. I'm going to have to go back and make some additions to that. But... Uh, I think I'm going to do that off camera because I just died a couple times from them. And it's not that fun to watch. So today, we're going to work on a little bit of stuff around this area. Just small things, nothing too big. I uh, think I know where Slime Chunk is. So we might get that going, work a little bit on that. Uh, and we might enchant the Diamond Sword. So... Uh, let's do that. Uh, so we're clearing this area out over here for our cows. And hopefully the mic audio is better. I found out why it was so low. Um, it was one of the settings in my... In the uh, Windows audio options. That was making it really low. So uh, I'm just carving this out. Getting it ready for the cows. I'm going to do the standard water around them so that they can't get out. I, uh, that's the best way um, that I've used that it worked. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Uh, and out of food. That's the main reason why we're doing this. Because uh, I'm out of food. So, uh, let's start bringing some cows in. Alright, you guys. So we're doing this, bringing the cows. Uh, we've got five here. I started off with around seven and a lot of chickens uh, but there's only one chicken left and I think I picked them up on the way here so just right around this corner <clears throat> hopefully they make it up these hills are the hardest part for them I usually lose some oh uh, we're good so it's right there one, two, three, four, five. Doing good, doing good. Okay, lost that chicken. And I made a bed closer to my home because I used to have to run all the way over there just to sleep in a bed. But now that's good sorry for the background if you can hear that you probably can uh, let's get some wheat going and breed these guys ah, I keep messing up sorry if you can hear the Skype I uh, didn't put that on do not disturb yet uh, let's see you ready you ready you ready you ready and we have one extra guy over there. Give us food. All right, so let's get going on another on the next project. All right, you guys. So we got the cows here. They're all set up and everything. Uh, let's go ahead and breed them some more. Uh, you breed. You breed. You breed. All right, let's breed these cows. Yeah, this is this is working out pretty cool. I've got a, a small wheat farm going so that I can get more of this wheat for them. Got a lot on me right now. Uh, let's move to the next project. So these villagers aren't breeding because there's no sunlight. So in order to do that, we're going to have to move them back up to the surface. Probably right above here. And we will provide them with some sunlight for them to breed. 
And when we need to, we can always bring them back down here. It will be easier that way. And hopefully we can get some more villagers, because having two has been... Um... You can't really get any anything from them. They have bad trades anyway. And every time I trade with them, they don't get any new trades, so... They're kind of useless right now, as it is. So let's try and give them some purpose to life. Um, all these doors are picked up, and I didn't realize how much I actually had. So I have three in my inventory right now, and I have a full double chest full. It's about two, four, six times two, four, six, eight, nine. Six times nine is fifty-four. Fifty-four doors. That's a lot. And if you divide that by three, it's around... Seventeen-ish villagers. Some somewhere there, somewhere from fifteen to twenty villagers. So that's a good amount. Now we're gonna have to start running the rail to get them up, or a water elevator. But I don't. Yeah, I guess we'll do a water elevator. Those are easier. So I will get that set up, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so water has been routed and once they hop in it'll bring them straight up I have it closed off so they can't come up at night because it's the chamber isn't set up yet but right now what we have to do is carve out this area <clears throat> so that uh, they are enclosed and the doors everywhere and zombies can't get them because that's the worst thing that could happen right now zombies getting in and killing them then we'd have to go to another village and find some more. So, daytime, we're going to bring them up. Hopefully have this done. It's going to be exactly the way that the downstairs one was. And then, uh, they should be breeding. And we should have some good trades, finally. So, and it starts to rain. So I'll do that. And see you guys in a little while. Time to move the villagers. So it's pretty easy. Hopefully they go up. Yes, they should be good once they're up. Uh, let's get the other guy who is heading in this direction. I have some extra doors. Didn't quite finish it, but no, come back. Right, so just push him into this. This guy doesn't want to go at all. Look, it's a better place. It's a better place. You'll be more happy up there. You can do some breeding. Airplanes. Go, go, go. Yeah. Okay, let's go see. So it's just a dirt shack for right now. But hopefully it's safe. Yeah, I don't think any mobs can get in. Yeah, this should be good. Let's just go and make a lovey dovey. I can just. I don't think that'll work. Just putting random doors around. But hopefully, next time we check this out, there will be babies in there. Time for the next project. Okay, finally we can move this ugly door. It has been annoying me for a while. And the only reason why I had it in there because I was waiting for some villagers to breed, but they didn't. So, hmm, there might be a problem. This has to be covered like that. So, uh, with the uh, piston doors that we're going to do uh, for this room we're going to use emerald blocks so it's going to be now this it's going to be stone brick
Make that and that. So let's put this in. Okay, let me get some more. And then each of these is going to have a different block for the... Those are so annoying. For the piston door. And so... Uh, this, I'm not sure about this. Probably diamond blocks. Oh yeah, I figured out what this is going to be. This is going to be the potion. Potion room, enchanting room, and I'm going to put my nether portal through there. So... We can probably start doing that soon once we get a blaze farm going. This needs to be... It's a 3x3 three three door, so it has to be higher. And I used all the stone. Good job. Good job. Pretend like that didn't happen, and just pretend like this is stone. So the piston door is going to be made out of emeralds. I'm going to need uh, nine emerald blocks for this. It won't take that long once we get enough villagers. Uh, so that shouldn't be too hard, and that looks really... I like the way these blocks look, so that's going to be good. Uh, next... We're going to work on this floor in this room. It's really plain right now. I don't even know why I got this here. Um, but yeah, this, it's, we got to start doing this. And we got to move the chest into a temporary chest room over there. So that we have, we can actually see everything. And the, this chicken farm is getting a lot of eggs. I can't stop throwing them. That does a slime for a sec. Yeah, so let's start working on this room. I'm going to go get some snow and put snow on the ground and we'll see how that looks. Alright, so we got the snow on the ground, and a lot of things have happened since this. Uh, let's start off with the simple stuff. I put the chest in here, moved everything out, uh, got the enchanting table here. I have a little uh, chicken killing farm thingy here, because we have a lot of villagers now. I mean a lot. We have at least 15. Um, they've just been popping out like nothing. It's a lot. And this guy, he's cool. He has bottle of enchanting. Uh, the other two are doing trades for stuff. I mean enchanting stuff. Now we got some with coal. Uh, but no paper guys yet, and I have a lot of reeds just sitting around, so hopefully we can get that going soon. Well, I don't know why they're crowding this corner. Uh, I can't figure it out. Um, doesn't look like they're stuck or anything. It's It just looks like they're crowding. So, you probably can notice I... I have a new set of armor, and I don't have my diamond sword. Why? Because I went caving. Had I enchanted a new fresh pick. I had efficiency 3 on breaking 3. Then I had my bane of arthropods 4 sword. And that was about... That was about broken, yeah. And I was caving. Fell into a little spider web and got stuck with the cave spiders and they killed me <laughs> yep I lost all that stuff I had three diamonds on me that pick 
for the sword, about two stacks of iron, and uh, two stacks of mossy cobblestone too. I found a couple dungeons, and yeah, so I lost all of that. That was pretty bad, and to add insult after injury, I spawned at spawn because I forgot to set my spawn here after moving my bed. So to come all the way back here, I had to go look for my stuff. Couldn't find it at all. And uh, when I finally got to the area where I died, it had all despawned. So that's unfortunate. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys the spider farm I worked on. It isn't the best thing. It's not fully operational right now. They keep getting stuck and climbing up the wall. It's very annoying and hard to deal with. Uh, the main reason I wanted, again, was for the spider eyes, uh, for damage potions. In 1.4, their uh, XP farms from mob grinders are going to become useless, except for mob drops. And I'm getting some lag. The airplane's flying by. Yeah. So, here's the ravine. I think I showed you where this was last time. But, around this corner, I have set it up. And, I thought it was going to be less difficult, but... It turns out it was actually a little bit more difficult just because um, where it's set up, see right now that back one isn't spawning anything, so you'd have to be pretty close to it the way it's set up right now. If we had the water coming towards this wall, uh, it would have been a little bit better because then we'd have them going this way or this way. And it'd be easier to activate both of them at once. But as you can see, that's the problem that we're having. Uh, they're climbing up this wall. And anywhere I stand over here, they'll climb up that wall. Uh, I don't know what to do about it. Um, and these guys killed me a couple times when I was trying to fix it. So uh, it's all blocked off, so they can't even get in anyway. So let's go back and talk about some more stuff over there. So right here, uh, this is my drop down point. Probably make it work better soon. Uh, but there's a cave spider spawner and there's another one right there. And they're just uh, close enough that there's like four or five different areas, well, blocks that they can both spawn at once. And I think the center is a little bit over here, which is against the wall that you drop down, that I dropped down. Yeah, somewhere over here. And we might do something with that, these spawners, because uh, they might be easier to work with than the others. And now I have to get to this side. And, yeah, I just think it might be a little bit easier to work with those. Sometimes things aren't as easy as it seems. So, with the floor design, um, I have a couple designs in mind. Uh, the one that's in place right now, I'm not 100% happy with. I think it could look better. Uh, incorporate some ice and stuff into it a little bit more uh, so I think I'm going to mess with this design I already have a good one that I I've made on a server I'm just messing around with stuff and I like it a lot so I'm, I'm probably gonna use that one but I have to modify it to this room um, scale size uh, let's see what else did I do I got some ice from with my silk touch pick. Uh, there's a snow biome just over there, and I 
bred some cows. Um, I think that's everything I did. I haven't recorded for like a day or something, so I don't remember everything. Oh yeah, and thank you to I Cowboys for this t fix. I uh, just put half slabs over here and mobs won't spawn. And you can see the uh, entire thing. The half slabs are invisible. So that's a cool fix. Alright. Time to the next thing. Uh, just look at the time of this video. And I think that will be it. We hit about the 20 minute mark. Um, next time we'll work on some different things. Uh, here's Mr. Iron Golem. Spawned because of the villagers. Uh, so see you guys later. Thanks for watching.